Hey Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Kelly from House of Virgo. You know the drill. If you're new, smash the like button and do subscribe. Personal reading links in the description box below. <sighs> Virgo, <laughs> it's the weekend, right? What are we gonna be looking at now? Here we go. What is with the snakes? Honestly, what is with the snakes showing up here? Do I need to reshuffle? You know what? I'm gonna put this back in the deck. If this pops out again, okay, second time, then that's, we're going to keep it, okay? We're going to keep it. We're trying to have, yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to manipulate the cards a little bit here, but I'm telling you right now. All right, you do have camera. You do have mirror. Oh, shit. Okay, they're giving you four cards. Okay, the Phoenix and Sunglasses. Oh, where go this weekend? Uh, Listen, I'm just going to be straight, okay? I'm going to be candid because, hey, I'm a Virgo. I can be. Somebody is looking at your pictures, Virgo. They're watching. They're stalking. <clears throat> they're reminiscing. They want to make memories. Um, they're looking at your selfies. I see that because we've got mirror. You know, the mirror selfie. Look, I don't know. I don't know if you're posting pictures of yourself somewhere. I don't know what's going on or who this is for. But let me just tell you, they're looking at your photos and the phoenix is rising. Not me. The phoenix is rising. This person is secretly watching or looking. Okay. <laughs> I don't even want to go into this like anymore because it's kind of, I don't know if it's creepy or it like what is going on here. They're having some growth. Okay. <laughs> and for this weekend... They're watching. They're looking at you. All right. Let's get into this. Come on now. Come on. Tell Virgo, like, what's going on? Virgo, I, look. Yep, they're looking at you. Look at, look. They're looking on their, their computer, their laptop. They're staring. They're looking at you. Why are they looking at you? It could be another Virgo. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Why? Why are they stalking? Why are they looking? Oh, shit. Look, three of swords. Oh, <laughs> did you guys break up? Was there a breakup? I don't know. Could have been yesterday. Could have been this morning. Could have been last night. Could have been a long time ago. Some kind of breakup. Yeah. Oh, my God. There's the lovers. Yeah, Virgo. Gemini energy here. This person, like, head over heels for you. Did not want to break up with you. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Did not want to break up with you. Did not want something to end. Still looking at your pictures. Still imagining you two being together. Looking at pictures of you guys together. When you were together. Little OJ action happening here. Hanging out. Maybe walking past your house. Looking to see if you're involved with somebody else. Could be looking at you on social media. If you're on social media. Okay. Hmm. Now you have the Emperor. So that's Aries energy. Oh, this person is like... They're very confident, Virgo. This person is like super, super confident. Like, you know, very commanding. Not demanding, but... Hmm, they might be talking to somebody connected to you who's older. Like a brother or a sister. Or like a friend who's... Or someone in authority. Could be your boss. Hey, real quick. If you're... Like if you work for a company and you're on social media. And you're like putting stuff up there. Um, that's a warning because they might see like your boss or somebody be careful make sure your shit's private okay because you're representing a company and they do that they like especially if you're posting anything or look I, I feel like I don't have to tell you this but because I know all my Virgos here are pretty mature but somebody here might be posting something from work be careful i'm just hearing they might see it over this weekend and then monday morning you come into work and it's like oh yeah can you come and sit down talk to me got a couple of issues here i need to discuss um we're gonna have to let you go you're breaking some policy <laughs> something to do with someone who sits here in this emperor position like show me the emperor let me see oh yeah communication there's gonna be talk here, something about, for some of you, how to overcome some kind of problem or an obstacle. Like, there's some truth coming out from this person. 
So when you have three swords and then you add one more, that's the four of swords. Try to recover something here. So, all right, are you going to lose your job on the job front? No, but maybe there'll be a warning, reprimanding, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> in a relationship, if you're in a relationship with this person or there was a breakup, they're going to initiate some communication and just tell you like, hey, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Um, they want to try to recover the relationship back, you know, or how can we try to recover this? Or, you know, like, I'm, I'm telling, like, I don't even know. Is somebody in a relationship giving you a warning or telling you that you, you, you hurt them? Even if they broke up with you, they're hurt by it. <laughs> like, what? Wait a minute, let me get this straight. You ended it with me and you're hurt by that? Are you kidding me? Like, that's like saying you put the knife into your own heart and you're blaming me for it. Oh, like, what? Okay. That's some crazy. That's crazy. That's like, like you're crazy. Yeah, look. They're hurt by the fact that <laughs> either you walked away or you ended the relationship, right? Which is, I guess that's reasonable. But if, I don't know, did this person just end it with you in some way? And you were just like, okay, see ya. Catch you later. Later, alligator. Okay. Um, it, like, what does that mean? Did, they, did it backfire on them? They're hurt by it. They're either like you don't care. Maybe you don't care anymore, Virgo. Or you're just not as invested. They're watching. This weekend, they're watching. They think you don't care. Maybe you do care. And you're, you know, I don't know. Like, I'm getting, all right, let me slow it down, because I'm getting, like, all these different messages. Okay, all these, whoever's talking to me, listen. It's a perception thing, right? That's what, I, okay, so that's what they're saying. There's a perception that this person has that you don't care or you're not interested. I don't know if that's true. We'll take a look at you in a minute. But this person feels wounded, Maybe not so much that you, ex that you, ex they're saying, okay, if you accepted the breakup, that's what's bothering them. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, maybe they thought, like, what? Okay. What's the Wheel of Fortune here from? Why is this here? There's definitely a break. Definitely, like, a argument. Maybe you didn't fight back. You put your boundaries up. Okay, so, okay, listen, major change. This person's going to come in and apologize. They're going to apologize to you for you. Oh, they just said, I don't know who the hell you're dealing with. They just said, this person's going to come up to you and say, I'm really sorry that you didn't chase me after I broke up with you. I feel really bad about that. Like, what the fuck? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know what the deal is like maybe this person is narky but the emperor is in the upright so generally if, it, if the emperor was in the reverse maybe they might have some of those traits okay like they do everything right they're the boss okay even if it was a job thing maybe you didn't know the rules and they might think that you did it on purpose okay but there is there is this um apology like i'm sorry we didn't let you know or i'm sorry for what happened there's some kind of change coming in here yeah this is not normal for this person to apologize so it's going to be a little bit unexpected in some way it's not normal behavior generally the emperor does not apologize okay we have aquarius here generally does not apologize because the emperor doesn't ever do anything that he would need to apologize for so, all right, for some of you, this is a work thing. I'm just going to say that. Maybe you work at a school that your, your boss is a principal or something. But anyway, can we try to figure out how to fix this? Virgo, let's look at you. Virgo. Let me see. Ah! They got this, the tower. Yeah, very. you're totally not going to expect this from this person this weekend. It's coming in this weekend. You might be working. You might find out. 
too. I feel like they're giving me relationship job stuff. Um, so, like, as far as your job goes, this might be a total shock to you. You get called in on Monday. I think they find something out over the weekend. But you're going to hear from someone who sits in kind of like an authoritative position, or at least they think they're the boss. Um, maybe it's your baby daddy, baby mama, whatever it is. Um, and you're not going to be expecting this. So you might be with family over the weekend, or you might be at a conference, or you might be working, or you're doing something. Oh my God, they just said... Some of you might actually see this person at a party over this weekend or some event. They're sitting there all by themselves. Oh my gosh, look. I'm just going to show you. Look at that. See? Same person, except he's got like a little hat on. Sitting there by themselves. There you are, socializing. And then somehow you guys make contact. And there's a conversation that happens. So there's a talk of some sort. Yeah, I don't know. Did you you might not have seen this person in a while. Yeah, I'm really sorry for what happened. It's going to be a shock. You're going to be shocked to come across this person for sure. You're not going to expect it. Some of you may not have seen this person in a really long time and you've gotten older. <laughs> this might be your ex or something. Maybe like um yeah, from like a long time ago, and you guys are older now. I don't know. It doesn't have to be. That's just for some of you. But there's something. <sighs> Virgo's like, I come in peace. Look, you're just like, you're in this temperance energy, okay? When you see this person, you're looking glamorous. You're looking very attractive, handsome, looking good. And you're showing up well balanced able you're in harmony with yourself you're at peace um you maintain even if it's a shock to see this person you definitely don't let somebody here see you sweat you don't let anybody see you sweat Virgo, you, you seem kind of detached from this from this event you seem kind of detached over the weekend like it's no big deal to you but why is this person so we have Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Why is this person, like, why are they watching Virgo? Virgo, you're also like, you know what? Bygones be bygones. It's whatever. All is forgiven. Um, why is this person watching you? I don't know. You're on their mind. Again, you're on their mind. There's something when they see you. I feel like so okay I'm not so sure if they're watching you first and then you see them you could wind up being somewhere like I said where they are over the weekend and before you notice them they see you remember what I was saying in the tent like before before you notice this person they see you first and now they're watching you walk around going to get something from the cooler playing with the kids sitting down at the table on a computer like a laptop whatever you use for work if it's a conference or work thing they got their eye on you after they spot you and they want to talk to you that's what's going on it there's a trigger right because even with the camera card here learning from the past wanting to make new memories you you're a keepsake to them i feel like this person has had your pictures they owe you an apology perhaps or they feel that they do okay but but you also remember the phoenix is rising so when they see you they're like completely turned on you will see them with sunglasses on and it's an outdoor thing or you'll <coughs> they see you and then you'll see them and you're just totally fine. Like you're you're completely cool about it over the weekend here. So yeah, there's this small talk that occurs that kind of just the past gets brought up, you know, learning from the past. This person might say to you, hey, I was really immature back then. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I wanted. Da -da 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 -da. Yada, yada, yada. And really like opens up, reveals a whole bunch of like what? 
Yeah, Virgo. So I don't know. Um, uh, you know, I don't know if this is something that you want. Maybe you thought about this person from time to time. But it was just kind of like, huh, I wonder how they've been. Not obsessively, but just like, I wonder whatever happened to such and such. That kind of thing. Hmm. I wonder if they're in jail. I wonder if they went to jail for what they did. I don't know. I feel like maybe you just kind of were like, I wonder whatever happened to them. If they've been stuck. If they've been trapped. Or if they've been in jail. Doing time. Because they sure were a mess. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> and then Virgo's like, yeah, oh well. Fleeting moment. Fleeting thought. And then you move on, right? So I don't feel like you've been stuck on somebody here. Maybe wondering. And you know the funny thing is, whenever you start having like a dream about some random person that you knew from your past. Or out of the blue, you just start thinking about this person. That's when they show up. So if that's been happening to you, I'm confirming it here. This person is showing up. They're going to be showing up. Maybe over the weekend. Could be into next week. But we are out of, I think it's today. The Mercury Retrograde is over. So this left of the post-shadow period. All right, your intuition is on point. Pay attention. What you're intuiting is true. You got a leap of faith here. It's safe to make the move you're considering. True love. Wow. This might have been your true love, Virgo, from before. It happens. It does, Virgo. It does happen. People tend to, you know, you bump into someone from your past. It, it, it does happen. And you kind of have a sit down or you just talk about the old days and kind of reminisce a little bit and let things go and you know apologies okay maybe there was cheating or something that happened or family got involved and you know when others get involved in the couple relationship anytime you let anybody else come between you and your person that's when the drama starts you got to have like that grip lock you got to be tight with each other <coughs> can't have interference it's nobody else's business What's going on in your relationship with another person, with your person? Unless, of course, there's some very karmic bullshit that's happening or there's some abuse or something and you got to scream it from the mountain, right? But um, there might have been some interference. All right, yeah, this person's regretful. I feel like they're going to tell you, like they're regretful and they're going to apologize to you for something that, you know, happened or things that didn't happen, leaving you at the altar, or breaking up or ghosting or saying the things that they said or letting other people's chemistry is going to be stirring up over this weekend with this person this is just going to be a shock you're not going to expect this now i know some of you might have a plan or something going on over this weekend that sounds familiar <coughs> some of you might have had that little inkling like oh i wonder if that person's going to be there you know, whoever you're thinking about. I feel like they are. Go slow. Don't rush into talking to this person. Just leave it be, right? Maybe there's an opportunity to reconnect. For some of you, this could happen. You guys get to know each other all over again. Now, I feel like this was a long time ago. I do. I feel like this was like a really long time ago. And so much time has gone by. So much time has gone by that it's almost like you're both brand new people. I just saw the healing card. There you go. That's what I was talking about. There might have been an addiction. That third party or an interference in the relationship could have been an addiction. Somebody might have been using. Okay. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing, and there's an awakening. Someone's undergoing a spiritual awakening here. See? Okay, there's been a change. And then fate. Oh, fate is bringing you that. It's fate. It is fate is bringing you both. Oops. Where'd that come from? Fate is bringing you both back around to each other. Maybe just to put things to an end. 
Fate is bringing you both back to each other. What the fuck? Stop. Fate is... <laughs> Fate is bringing you both back around to each other. Maybe just to apologize. Maybe just to put something to bed. Maybe to restart. You're going to find out. But I can tell you that. You're going to feel that chemistry still with that person is still there. Hasn't gone. Not gone anywhere. The chemistry is still there. All right, let's see. Interesting weekend. Stand your ground toxic relationship <laughs> be careful if you're gonna reconnect with this person you know whatever whatever you're gonna do i feel like stand your ground is basically like make sure that you're grounded when you talk to this person because you may have these old feelings might come up and some of this might be like triggering for you Okay, so standing your ground means getting your footing, you know, like when you're in the ocean, the wave comes, you want to like dig your feet into the sand so you don't get knocked over. You have learning a new skill. Okay. An emotional wish being granted. So maybe some of you wanted to talk to this person. Or some of you might really enjoy having this reconnection with, with this person here. For real. I know. I'm going to pull some of these cards. Um, but I'm going to be careful. What I show you. Because there's just no way. Alright, so this person does have fantasies about you. What will it take for you to sleep with me? What? Okay. Fantasies. Wow, you're looking so good. Maybe it's a reunion you're going to. Like a school reunion or something. This person uh, thinks you have a great physical uh, features, a great the, keeping in shape or looking good. You are my match. Okay. That might have been something you guys figured out years ago. I've never felt as attracted to anyone else as I am to you. Yeah, there's definitely some chemistry. You, you might... <laughs> I love your mysterious ways. Oh, Virgo holler. You might just be... I, I don't know. You might not be anything. You might feel some triggering feelings reconnecting with this person. You know? Um, and I feel like because I felt like it was going to be a surprise, you might catch yourself a little like off balance, which is why I felt like you need to get your feet in the sand. When you see this, might be someone that gives you still gives you butterflies now i say when you get butterflies just in your stomach just take a couple of shots of tequila and that'll kill them that's all you gotta do drown them fuckers all right let's see what else what else i love your mysterious ways Ooh, virgo you just do it for me yeah, mysterious. Where the hell? What do you mean? Like, I haven't seen you in 25 years. That's not mysterious. Our lives went separate ways. What are you talking about, weirdo? Okay. Oop. Here comes your confession. This person has something to tell you. Confess their feelings. I still have feelings for you. I still find you super, super attractive. I still want to be with you. I've missed you. I'm sorry about everything. What have you been up to? What? Oh, weird things always happen to me. What have you been up to? Did you get married? Did you have kids? What'd you do with your life? I wish we never broke up. I wish things didn't end. I still love you. Oh my God. Open up your heart. We'll help you attract more love. This person is going to open up to you, and, and they are. They're going to, over this weekend, I don't know, some of you are like, I'm staying in the house. I am not going out. I'm not answering the phone. I'm not getting on the computer. Just me and my program <laughs> and a bowl of popcorn and maybe some chocolate. I don't know. I'm not going out. Nope. I'm not. Look, look, look. They'll be back. Virgo. Like, I just can't. You're reading. I'm all over the place. Look, 
you're going to hear from this person. You're, whoever this old person is, this old person, maybe they're old. Whoever it is, expect to hear from them soon. Yeah, that spirit telling you. Yep, this person going to be showing back up in your life. Holy shit. Some of you are expecting this. I know it says pregnancy, but that's I'm not getting that. Some of you are expecting. You're expecting to reconnect with this person, like I said. Now you have pets here. Hmm. How's your, how was your dog? Whatever happened to your dog? Whatever happened to your cat? Whatever happened to all those chickens you used to have in the back and the out back? <laughs> Do you still have that lizard? You're reminiscing about animals. I'm hearing. And children. How many kids did you have? This feels like a long time ago. So long ago, like I said, that reconnecting with this person, you're like brand new people again. Ooh. I'm actually a little excited for this weekend. wonder what this is going to show up to be. All right, anything else? What? No, I'm not showing you that. And don't you get pissed off because I do what I want here on my channel. <laughs> All right, let's see what this Chinese sign is. Of you and this person. You and or them. All right, we've got Year of the Rooster. Every single time shows up first. Year of the Monkey. Year of the Tiger. Year of the Snake. All right, well, there you're getting your snake back, okay? You're getting your snake back. Year of the Dog. Year of the Rabbit. Double Rabbit. Dog again. Year of the Horse. Year of the Ox. Snake again. I feel like a rat is coming. We got a horse again. Got an ox again. Rooster again. And a pig. Did I say a pig? And I felt a rat. I smell a rat. I felt a rat. But the rat did not show up. However, I am picking up, like, I don't know. I just felt rat. Remember that band, Rat? I can't remember the name of their songs. What were their songs? I don't even know. It's, I'm that old that I can't even remember. Oh, let's get some features. Show Virgo what this person's, like, what they look like. Now, this could be one or all of them or none of them. All right. This person could be of average height. Blue eyes. They have a mole. They could have a mole for a pet. <laughs> pet mole. Um, they also have green eyes. I don't think I've ever met anyone with green eyes. It's pretty amazing. They could be slender. Like slender man. Wavy hair. Okay. Um, colorful hair. They might have a lot of different colors in their hair or just like bright colors. Okay. Or colored hair. Now we also have brown eyes. Look at those brown eyes. So sad. Why the... Oh. If your person has brown eyes, they have a sad... They have like those sad brown eyes. You know? Do you ever see people that have like very sad brown eyes? Like puppy dog... Puppy dog eyes. So the, the green eyes is very intent, almost like shooting lasers. And the blue eyes are kind of like there's nothing behind those eyes. I feel like the blue eyes is just looking. There's no emotion on the face of the person with the blue eyes. But the brown eyes look very sad to me, crying. Okay, they might have straight hair. Man, remember all the hairs? Were, why are all the hairs? Hold on, just let me look. It could be bald too, they just said. Person might have zero hair. And don't make fun of patients who are going through or taking medicine of some sort that makes them lose their hair. This is not a joke. Somebody might have gone through some kind of chemo Okay. 
Okay. And cause them to lose their hair. Right? I know. We make jokes here. And it's fine. I just don't think that's a joke. I don't think that particular thing is something to be making fun of. That's all. That's how I feel about it. Okay? If you don't like it, not my problem. Um, all right. So, let's find out what's going on here. I'm going to say names this time. All right. First, we have Leo, Libra, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay? I just said Ursula. Someone's name is Lady. Okay. Lady. Maybe someone's name is Diana. Or Diane. Or Deanna. Um, okay. Someone. All right. They're just showing me a field. Like a field. I don't know if it's a baseball field. Or it's like a big field of flowers, or there's maybe somebody lives near a field, or you're walking past a field. Something to do with a field. All right, we have La Lawrence or Larry, Sadie, Sadie. Um, Forrest, really? Forrest or Frank, Fiona. Um, hmm. Lewis. I heard Lewis, Lisa. Um, I'm also getting uh, Neil, Nicole. Neil or Nicole? All right, I'm not picking up. Oh, John. Um, and Jen, John or, well, it's John or Jen, Jennifer or John or, yeah, okay. Adam, I just heard Adam. Someone is an eye doctor, like an optometrist or optician or whichever, or just went to an eye doctor or is going to one. Someone's a firefighter, just heard that. Someone is like a farmer. Like works on a farm or has a farm. I mean, it could be of horses, vegetation, um, fish farm, some something to do with a farm. Kentucky. I just heard Kentucky. Somebody might be in Kentucky. Oregon. Someone is in Oregon. Oh, okay. Someone is part of LDS, Church of Latter-day Saints, LDS. Okay, um, so we have September 7th, 11th, 4th, 14th. Um, someone's born in 1979. Someone's born in 63. Someone's born in 1970. Did I say September 19th? I don't remember. Um, someone's 39. Someone's born in 83. Someone's 54. August 29th. And someone's 45. 37, 38, 39. Ages. Okay, August 31st. Or someone's 31. Someone's birthday is in June. Who is significant to you? June. That would be a Gemini Cancer. And yeah, also there's a September birthday that could be you, or that could be um, another person significant to you. Um, Virgo Libra energy there. Okay. All right, let's get your charms and then we're going to be done with your weekend. Okay, so that's new. Haven't seen that in a while. So you have a palm tree, Virgo. Palm tree being significant to you over this weekend. You could live near them or live, you know, have palm trees where you live or be connected to someone that does. Palm tree is also reminiscent of someone who's flexible. Um, so somebody could be very flexible, maybe does yoga or stretches a lot or just has, um, um, there could be like a disease or something that causes somebody to be extra flexible, like their joints or something. Okay, or, you know, 
palm trees also represent coconuts. So some of you might be off your rockers. Hey, it is what it is. Okay, look at this. You've got a seashell. That's a mussel. <gasps> Ooh, do you like mussels? Because I'm seeing mussels here. Somebody might have mussels, like big, well, we all have mussels, but somebody might like you know, have inflamed mussels. Or, or maybe you pulled a mussel or you will over this weekend. Um, we also have a squid. So there's an, and, and, um, a, a captain's wheel. So you guys, there's a lot of like tropical stuff happening over here. <laughs> Somebody eats a lot of protein. That's why they have strong muscles. And this feels to me, some of you are going to find like a clam, open up a clam and there's a diamond in there. Oh my God. They just gave me the sickest visual. <sighs> I'm not saying it. You know, what a, you know what a clam looks like. I don't know. There's a pearl or... A, I mean, you're not going to find a diamond in a clam, but a pearl. I just don't even know. They're just showing me, like, you open up a clam and maybe there's a diamond ring in there. Like, what? That is, that is an odd message. I don't know what that relates to it, it, in, to this reading. Or it's just an image that they're giving me. I, I see it. Like, somebody... Two people sitting at a table, the stark, hard wooden chairs, dark brown, and I see a, um, a white linen tablecloth, and I see two people sitting across from one another, and they're having seafood, and, and a woman opens up a clam, like a shell, to, take the, to eat what's ever in it, and there's a diamond ring or a pearl in there. I don't know if it's put there, was given to her by someone or she just finds it by accident but that's the image that's the visual that i just received so i don't know what that's about like there's a table full of shellfish we're eating shellfish right it's not like regular fish like flounder this is shellfish and a tropical um kind of place so uh, you might be on it going on a trip this weekend you see someone I don't know. I don't even know. You see someone. Maybe you're going on a cruise or you're planning all this out and then this happens later. I'm not really sure. It's a tropical place. You know, and when I say tropical, right? Yeah, it could be in like southern areas um, or more tropical climate. But I mean, even in places that are unexpected, like in certain places in the northern European areas, there are palm trees. So wherever you're going, there's definitely going to be a palm tree. It doesn't have to be tropical. But I am seeing something on the sea, or something to do with the sea. Okay, and so if that's not for you, I mean, hey, congratulations to whoever it is, because this kind of feels like a long lost love scenario or something that ended many, many moons ago um, that somebody's either still looking at pictures of you guys or you come and, you know, you guys see each other and they're reminiscing after they see you. It could be both as well. I don't even know. I'm leaving it here. I mean, this is an interesting reading, right? So yeah, if you want to get a personal reading, click the description box below. Just go under the video. The link is there. Um, you guys can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Now I've been putting stuff up there. I'm not super, super active on it because I really just don't know what I want to do with it. <laughs> so I've been trying to just upload things here and there. So you can go over and follow. The links are all um, on my link tree. Just click my link tree and you can just follow me over there. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. Thanks to everyone who was subscribing to the channel. I know we got some new subscribers. Let me just give you guys, if you're new, a shout out if you've recently i'm not subscribed but if you became a member of my channel i want to say welcome to bridget jackson she has rejoined stephanie lopez uh dorothy kirby welcome you guys nancy stupers welcome to the hov gang tribe yeah so i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend do something fun. I mean, hey, leave me comments. Come back on Sunday or when you come back from your weekend. Let me know if any of this or any, like it could be the whole thing or it could just be pieces and bits or parts of it. Let me know if any of that happened for you because I know you guys a lot of time come back and you 
put that in there that like, hey, oh my God, that came true. So yeah, I love to read that. All right, you guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you back here on Sunday. Take care. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.